Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to do for beginners. Today I am going to discuss on use case in accounting session that how you can manage your all PDC post dated check and how you can track them using that trial balance. Okay. I am trying to understand and trying to demonstrate this uh, feature using one use case that we have in the business of electronics and we are selling those electronics to our customers. One customer has a demand and the demand of that worth $5,000 or $50,000 and he made that payment by PDC. Okay, another customer again do the payment by the PDC. How we can do them, how we can track them in one page or by trial balance. Okay, so this company I have already created. Now step number one, we have to create the chart of accounts. So let me click on that chart of accounts. I have already created two chart of accounts. So let me open that. I have created that PDC receipt, okay, that we are receiving from the customer, which is the current asset type of account. This is PDC issue, means this is regarding with from our side. We are purchasing from the vendor, and for that billing purpose, we are we are sharing that PDC regarding that PDC issue. That will be a current liability kind of account. This is the step number one. Step number two is regarding the journal. We are going to create the journals for the PDC. As we are going to receive that payment by the PDC, journal name is PDC, of course it will be a type of bank and important thing is that what we have to configure in incoming and outgoing payment. In incoming payment we are going to configure that receipt account as a PDC receipt and in outgoing we are mentioned as a PDC issue. Okay. Oh, this configuration is clear. Now I am going to create the invoice. Okay. Now let me create the invoice for my favorite customer. It's a PPS. It's a pinky. Okay. So this PPS. I am going to create select the components, which is the electronic components with the worth of 5000. Okay. And 50,000. Let me confirm it. Okay. Now we are doing the payment. Payment will be by the PTC. This is the thing is that. And payment date is of course the 13th of April. This is for one. Now again, one more customer has that demand. So I'm going to duplicate this. And this will be a demand for that 40,000. Okay. So now we are just going to confirm. And we again make that payment by the PTC. So what we are going to select that PTC. And that payment date will be might be a 29th of April. Okay. That will be a future time. Okay. Now we have. Now let's check the reporting. In reporting, we are clicking on that trial balance. And here you can see that PDC receive it's in 90,000 for the April. Okay, so you can track for each month or each quarter that how PDC receive and how PDC issue. This is for that PDC receive. Let's do for that PDC issue that we are just going to create the bill. Okay, so we are going to create the bill. Our vendor is vendor one. Again, we are purchasing those products from many of vendors in one quantity with the price of. remove this okay and we are going to confirm that we have to add that bill date i'm going to add that bill date i'm just going to confirm it again we have made that payment by the pdc by the date of let's consider 23rd april okay and i'm just going to click on that create payment and again do the same i'm creating one more bill so let me duplicate it and with the again with the price of thirty thousands, uh, let me make it the forty thousand. Okay, and I'm just going to let me add the bill date. I'm going to confirm and paying by the PDC. This is important, and that will be date of that. Okay, creating the payment. Now let's check the reporting and in the trial balance you can see the PDC received and PDC issued for the April 2025. Of course it will 90,000. This is the 40 plus 30 is equal to 70,000. So you can do the track by using Udo standard. Okay, there's no need to purchase any third party application. Now how we can reconcile with that bank? Okay, so let's check that entries. I'm doing for that one, one part. Okay, this is my payment of that Let's check the payments. My customer. This is for the date of that 30. So what we can do here? Let me duplicate this. I'm going to reconcile with the bank now. 
So let me go to accounting. In accounting, this is my dashboard. Currently, I am creating these transactions manually. I am creating a new. Okay, the date will be our date is the 30. So let's consider that by 30 date, we are receiving the payment with the 50,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, and ATC received. Okay, and just we are going to put add close. Okay, now let's check to the dashboard. And you want to reconcile? Let's go to that reconcile, and we are going to make it that with. Click on validate and ribbon will come. Okay, so you can do the easily reconciliation with that, but main purpose is that how you can manage all your PDC. Thank you for that. You can try from your side and let me know if you have any queries. Thank you, guys.